there's been quite a large body of research that's been done. Many of you will be aware of a book called The Spirit Level, which was published in 2009. And the research has looked at a number of countries and they concluded that in societies where there were greater levels of equality, that this was correlated with lower incidences of mental illness, um, higher levels of educational attainment, uh, higher levels of social mobility, lower levels of obesity, lower levels of mortality, all sorts of positive benef benefits that came from a more equal division of wealth in society. But the researchers actually only looked at income when they were doing that work, which is, is quite an interesting one. And what you'll find, that this was their conclusion, that a smaller gap between rich and poor, between happier, means a happier, healthier, and more successful population. So we're all quite familiar with those sorts of arguments about the importance of reducing inequalities, but most of those arguments you'll find will focus on income inequalities rather than wealth or asset inequality. But in fact, when you look at the figures, wealth or assets are far more unevenly distributed than income. What is the point of saving? Well, as we've heard, Without any sort of financial cushion, people are much more vulnerable to illness, to redundancy, to marital breakup, relationship breakup, um, so much more vulnerable to life events generally. The evidence shows that poor people can save and that they do save, and very often the poorest people are saving more as a proportion of their income than higher earners. Music